from you guys and she's coming back home to Milwaukee. I told you the YouTubers you're coming back home to Milwaukee. I'm going back to Texas. <laughs> Cause baby, I miss being I miss being at home. So you guys we're at Casablanca. This is where I had my going away party. Daniela did my makeup too y'all. What you guys think? So beach. So hey guys. Um, everybody order the lemonade, right? <laughs> you get that clout! What the fuck? No, I'm not ready. <laughs> you did your big one, sis. <laughs> that Julio? Mr. Don. That was Reposado? I think it was that. What was that? Julio on there. We had to take a shot. What were you for? No, no, that's right. We're gonna take another shot. Come on. Another shot. Bitch, I'm gonna be drunk. I'm not gonna be able to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Who wants to pay for my food? How you feeling? I'm feeling freaky deaky. Tonight is gonna be a fucking success. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Drunk and Vanessa's fucked. Huh? That's true. It is fucked. It's not driving towards the way of Portman's. <laughs> Hello. We almost got fucking. We almost went to jail, y'all. Arrested. We almost went arrested. <laughs> Baby, this shit going crazy. We should produce it and we be a baby. And she held it down, so she got a Mercedes. Don't money rap is the army, the navy. It rich me some thousand. I do it like Brady. Four on this yellow, like Tracy and Katie. I treat my niggas, they never betray me. Met all these niggas, they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the favors, they never repay me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody sent me. Did all the favors, they never repay me. It worked in my favor, cause nobody sent me. Brand new world got no keys. Tell my truck, no stones, please. Soon as I met you, don't leave. Got girls in the back like S and E. Only your glasses, I won't even peek at you. Ferrari like Pikachu. I don't lay in and watch the way he gon' do. Tryna pick what I do, tryna steal my moves. Five hundred for a new pair of tennis shoes. Same price, you get one, come finish you. Been charged, yeah, do it like a tool. Build your watch, one thousand, let me do you. 
Kevin, bow your head. Bow your head. Okay. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us all here. You know, we celebrate Mama's sister's 50th. And uh, amen. Let's eat. <laughs> I want to thank you all for bringing us all together today. Heavenly Father, the most important thing about life is having family and people to enjoy it with. And I thank you for always bringing us together and most importantly, keeping us together. Thank you for another blessed birthday for a mother of all of us. I really do appreciate her. I want to thank you, Lord, for a beautiful and blessed day. Watch over this food and the nourishments of our body. Continue with us as we finish off 2022 strong. I love your name, Jesus. We pray and thank you for another beautiful and blessed day. Amen. 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 Pray for me. You see this hashtag, find God. Kevin had to get 2K23. It's 2K23, right? Or 22. I bought the last, like, two years. Hey, guys. I just got back home yesterday from Milwaukee. Milwaukee was cool. It was cold. It was chilly. It was warm, but it wasn't warm. Like, I think Sunday, it was rainy all day. Yeah, it was just a, it was a rainy Sunday, and it was cold. And... <clears throat> Living in Houston and then going back to Milwaukee, I brought sandals. I only brought one jean jacket. I didn't bring hoodies or sweatpants or none of that. And it was so freaking cold. But it was definitely a lot of fun. You guys probably seen that Kevin's mom's birthday dinner. It was very nice. We ended up going to Steak 48. I was low-key kind of sad leaving. Um, Milwaukee because my mom cried the day that I was leaving and it made me so sad because when I when I first left Milwaukee she really didn't cry at all but this time she like really cried because I could you know I, I tell my mom like I want to say I'm lonely out here but it does get lonely out here because it's just me and Kevin and spending time with like my mom and my sisters like really made me miss them a lot like a lot a lot and I didn't realize like how lonely I was. I went back to go see them and like hung out with them. So yeah, I was, it was kind of like sad leaving. I'm exhausted still. Um, this morning I did do a shoot. It's a three, three day shoot and it was at seven o'clock this morning and living in Houston, you have to wake up two hours before you do anything. So. I I went to, for the show the shoot. I had to wake up at like five to I go pack up my stuff and then go to the place. And they wanted me to be there early because we only had an hour to do the makeup, makeup and hair. And of course, the hairstylist I was working with was so nice. I'll probably bring you guys with me tomorrow morning. But I bring with you guys this morning because I was so tired. I didn't get in until like almost it was ten, almost eleven. Um yesterday when we got off the plane because we had to pick up bags and i live an hour away from the airport and it was just a drive we me and kevin was exhausted so yeah it feels it feels okay to be back home it feels kind of weird still i don't know to, to like go back to milwaukee where i'm from and then come back to houston where i live it's kind of, it was kind of weird i don't know 
know, like Kevin kept asking me, like, how does it feel to be back in Milwaukee? I'm like, it feels weird. But it feels like I was supposed to stay when I went back because I, you know, lived there. And then having to come back to Houston because I live in Houston now. Like, this is my home now. But, yeah, it was cool. I, I mean, it was cool. On Friday nights, I'm pretty sure you guys will see the clips. <gasps> I was so drunk Friday. And I was drinking like I didn't have to work the next day. Like, I didn't have, like, five clients on Saturday. I was so drunk. And I had a good time with my friends. My friends, my sisters. And all the shop girls. Yeah, it definitely was a vibe. I probably won't be going back to Milwaukee for a really long time. Probably, honestly, I we might go back for Thanksgiving. I don't know yet. I have a feeling that we are gonna go back for Thanksgiving, but my birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year. Not falls on Thanksgiving, but it falls on the same week as Thanksgiving. Me and Kevin still have to figure out what we're gonna do for my birthday this year um, because we have literally like three months left till it's my birthday. If you don't know, Sorry, I had to move that because it's hurting my neck. But if you don't know, every year since 2020, me and Kevin has been traveling. Um, we travel for my birthday, Kevin's birthday. We're always traveling. But I have a feeling that I might end up doing my birthday here in Houston and just having everybody come here in Houston because I think that'd be fun. I never had a birthday where everybody got to celebrate it with me at one time. I'm trying to bait on what I want to do. I really want to go out the country, but... I don't know we'll see we will see I haven't decided where I want to go yet and everything is just so expensive now like it was easy for me and Kevin to book a freaking flight to Mexico like the same exact month like weeks before and now it's just like everything is just so expensive so I don't know we'll see we'll see what we'll see what we're gonna do I probably should look at stuff tonight kind of decide plan stuff out but this weekend was definitely fun I had a blast in Milwaukee but came back for work i worked this morning i was supposed to have a client earlier but she ended up not, sh not even showing up so whatever and then i have two girls at seven and eight and i'm on my way to my suite now just got done with the shoot today was the last day i really didn't i recorded a little bit in there as you guys can see from the past clips there's definitely a vibe um i i have worked with photo shoots but haven't worked with photo shoots i like this type of photo shoot because it's only one model one look three days boom boom ba, boom boom ba. yeah that was a vibe that was cool i really really enjoyed doing this shoot the model was beautiful so nice the team so professional very sweet can't wait with, to work with them again i was super excited uh to do this shoot so yeah that's basically the dealios um i am about to go get me some starbucks i think i might go get me a bagel or something because i really didn't eat nothing yesterday so yeah these past three days i've been doing the shoots definitely um something that i really like doing uh, i'd rather do this than like work like a full day today on the agenda sorry it's kind of bright the sun's just not coming up it's currently ooh, ooh, it's 8 30 right now and i've been here since 6 30. on the agenda today i have to go back to my house because i have to get my lashes i have a client at 11. i get my lashes done at 12. 
Then I have to go back to work because I have three more clients after that. So hopefully I'll be done by five. I'm hoping. So I want to show you guys what I got in the mail when I got back from Milwaukee. This is so cool. <gasps> Voila! I got when I hit 100k subscribers. I just want to give a shout out to all my supporters, I want to give a shout out to my family. I want to give a shout out to everybody that's been down supporting me since day one. I just love every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. And yeah, I love you guys. This is a very big accomplish for me. I didn't imagine myself hitting 100K back in 2018 when I first started my YouTube channel. And... We're on a road to one meal. One meal. But yeah, I just never like see myself getting one of these. I always see like other YouTubers get it. But it's just like crazy that I have this with my name on it, you guys. But I'm so thankful for everybody that's, you know, supports me. And I just love you guys so much because without you guys... I wouldn't be at 100k subscribers. Period. Period. But like I said, we're on a road to 1 mil now. 1 milli. So yeah, I am on here to finish off my vlog. I always forget to do an ending. But yeah, I am finishing off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as you can see, I went back to Milwaukee. I'm back at home. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was nice to see everybody. It was kind of like weird going back to Milwaukee and then coming back here. So, yeah. Um, we're just chilling for the rest of the night. I am currently editing the vlog and watching a movie, I think. I think it's a movie. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to comment. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.